Well, PGD stands for pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, of which there are two basic forms. One is uh, testing for single gene disorders. And so, for example, people that are carriers of problems such as, let's say, cystic fibrosis, uh, they in the past uh, would have had to have conceived and then done an amniocentesis um, at uh, 16, 17 weeks of a pregnancy and had about a 50, 50 percent chance of having an affected fetus that they would have then had to terminate. Now uh, you're able to test the embryos before the patient gets pregnant and, and eliminate affected embryos. Uh, it also enables you to perform karyotyping on embryos that uh, look at their genetics uh, from the perspective of eliminating uh, problems like Down syndrome, uh, minimizing recurrent miscarriage rates, and uh, looking at older patients who have various types of chromosomal problems increase based upon their chronologic age. So <clears throat> it's, it's been a pretty significant step forward.